My sinus problems first started about 25 years ago down in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. My sinuses, I was told, were completely loaded up with polyps. And the doctor had told me they were about the size of my thumbnail. And they were completely impacted four and a half inches deep on both sides. That first surgery, when I came out, the headaches I had and all the packing they put in my head lasted three or four days. It was completely miserable until they took that packing out again. And then that surgery probably lasted five or six years and everything started happening again. So I went back to the second surgery, same headaches, same galls, same packing, very invasive. My polyps grew back after the previous two surgeries, and so I decided I had to find some place that we can get this taken care of. We have a two-story house. I was doing a breathing treatment three to four times a day in my house before I could even function. I'd wake up at two in the morning and have to do a breathing treatment and try to go back to sleep. When it was time actually to get up, no matter what time I woke up, I had to do a breathing treatment before I would go in and take a shower and go downstairs. And after I'm downstairs for a couple of hours or more, I would end up doing another breathing treatment. It ended up being minimal four times a day before I did this final surgery with Dr. Grizel. And about two and a half years ago, I went to see him to find out if anything had changed. And he said this surgery today was less invasive than previous surgery. When he had finally gotten to the point where life was miserable enough and he was not getting better with simply allergy management, we decided that removing his polyps was, again, was in his best interest. There were some things that we could offer him differently. Some of those things that we could offer differently were being able to use a type of technology called intraoperative image guidance. This is a technique where we're able to link the patient's CT scan to our instruments in surgery while they're asleep. What that allows us to do is we are able to be more aggressive and remove as much of the sinus disease as possible and, and, and very closely um, approach the normal structures but not damage those structures. And so sinus navigation really helps us to be, uh, do a much more thorough operation without causing any problems for the patient. Another thing that we offered him at the time of the procedure was a new technology called balloon sinuplasty. The way that that surgery works is we take a very small balloon and we insert that balloon into the openings of the sinus cavities, the drainage pathways of the sinuses. And then when we dilate those balloons, it opens them and allows them to be more aerated and drain better. From the time I checked in to the pre-operating room to the time I got out, everyone there was just uh, fantastic. Mr. Waldrop's surgery went very well. He went home the same day from, from the hospital and he had some absorbable packing that was placed in his nose that we removed a week after surgery. After that, he uh, started doing some sinus rinsing and continuing, continuing his allergy therapy and he made a very quick recovery. Within two days, I could see as things cleared out that it wasn't going to be the invasive headaches I had before. It was just an easy experience. I am so much better today. It's, it's hard to even explain. Since the time I've seen him, it's, he is doing much better. He's enjoying his life, able to breathe much better, less drainage, less congestion. Additionally, one of the problems that he had had was pump lung involvement, so wheezing and difficulty breathing, and that has improved tremendously as well. So he's doing very well.